Life with Atlas was nothing like the Marines. But I wasn't complaining. With lives hanging in the balance, Atlas forces moved in swiftly to rescue the hostages. <laughs> God damn it, Gideon. I didn't know you were a movie star. Oh, easy now. I know it's probably the first time your backwards hillbilly ass has seen someone with a full set of teeth, but I'll get carried away. Well, that's funny, because that's what your mom... Oh, did you see that shit? Uh, not bad, right? Yeah, you got lucky. KVA's getting better every day. Whatever happened to that guy we pulled out of the drink anyway, huh? Uh, Lions took that one on. It's fine by me. Badass, man. Fucking badass. As you were, son. As you were. Is there uh, something we can help you with, sir? Well, a glass would be a start. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Gather around, gents. There's an old military saying. You treat your men like you would your own beloved sons and they'll follow you into the deepest valley. I lost my son, and it taught me the importance of seizing the moment, of saying what needs to be said when you have the chance. You gentlemen did a hell of a job out there. Lagos has opened up fantastic opportunities for Atlas. And for that, I am grateful. To you, gentlemen. It felt good to celebrate. But Gideon was right. We just got lucky. And the KVA was getting better and thinking bigger every day. Hello there, this is Carlo, and welcome to another very exciting uh, product review. Um, this is based on Facewear, and Facewear is basically motion capture, motion capture software um, for facial um, animation. Um, Facewear um, is a um, very high standard, um, high quality professional uh, tracking tool basically for motion capture work. Um, and I'm just going to try and explain to you um, in this review uh, what it is. Um, what it does um, and what you could probably get out of it or what you will get out of it should I say uh, sort of productivity wise um, within your programs or within your um, your movies or your video games or any part of um, your production so let's just open up um, Google and I'm just going to explain to you um, a little bit about um, what it is so if you go to uh, this website here face uh, facewaretech.com um, Face where um, the company you have kindly um, offered to give you a trial um, on this software um, so you can test it out for yourself. Now, um, Faceware is very high standard production quality software. Um, it is a suite, so um, you'd have to talk down. I think there's uh, all these parts here um, so three, three pieces of software that you would need to install in order to benefit from um, Faceware's. Um, uh, uh, productivity um, and faceware has been used as you can see up here in some of the biggest films um, and games um, out there in the world uh, basically um, so what you would do is if you wanted this you would basically request um, a trial you would be contacted within 24 hours um, after you register um, with a, a username and a password then what you would do is you would install the product um, and then use your password and username to actually log into the software. So this would actually give you 30 days free to actually try uh, Faceware uh, for yourself. And I do recommend you do. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and like I say, it's pro stuff as well. I mean, you can even buy um, the proper headgear um, to go with um, your software. Um, so you could, uh, you know, basically achieve maximum potential um, out of your performance now why 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 do I think personally this sort of software is important 
um, to animate it. So first let me cover what sort of software you can use with it. Um, Faceware is designed for um, programs like Maya, 3ds Max, uh, Motion Builder, Softimage, um, so on and so on. What it would allow you to do is basically add a uh, animation or add a performance onto the model that you've created within Maya um, or, or, or the programs that I've uh, literally just specified um, and a proper performance as well. If we look at um, the gallery here in Facewear, um, as you can see, it's been used by some of the biggest studios um, and games on the planet. So, you know, Grand Theft Auto 5, it was used for that. And the list basically just goes on and on. It is a trusted source and it is absolutely amazing piece of software. It really is. Um, this is just a quick look at some of the movies and games that Facewear has been used for, um, for um, motion detection of the face. Um, you know, we've got things like Harry Potter, we've got Godzilla, um, we've got some massive video games, Halo Reach, um, like I've just said, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, um, The Mummy, and the list just goes on and on and on. So, download the trial, uh, or request for a trial from Facewear, um, so you can, you can give this a, very, uh, you know, a really good go. Um, and what I'll do in the next couple of videos, this is basically just a product review for now, um, and just a quick look um, at the actual product itself and what you'll be getting. Um, and then what I'll try and do is get some tutorials done just to get you guys started with your trial version, um, your 30 day trial, and just um, basically sway you into actually purchasing this product because at the end of the day, um, it does exactly what it says on the tin, you know. Um, it's very important um, software like this if you're an animator um, or you're a film creator and you want to put an animated character um, into a film or generally just making an animated movie. So if we look at, um, if I just go here um, and I just type in, for instance, face where um, Kevin Spacey. Now Kevin Spacey did a performance for Call of Duty. Um, uh, World at War, Spacey, I think that's how you spell his name. Face with Kevin Spacey. Okay, so Kevin Spacey um, played a role, as you can see, in uh, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or Modern, Modern Warfare game, the latest game out. And as you can see, this is just um, a look at him himself. Um, and then he added a performance, his personal performance, um, onto onto the actual uh, rig itself because it's very important. I mean, as realistic as this looks, facial expressions are a footprint of a person. You can get to know a person by the way they smile, by the way you know they blink, by the way their facial um, muscles move. It's a footprint of that individual person, and as real as a model you create can look. Without the general footprint of that face, it's never going to look as real as it could do, or as it should do. And this is, you know, something I'm, I feel very, very strongly about when creating animated um, films. Uh, for instance, you could create, um, I don't know, a chicken, and then you could get, for instance, Kevin Spacey to add a performance um, onto that chicken, but without. You know, you'll hear Kevin Spacey's face. Uh, sorry, it's what I'm talking about. You'll hear Kevin Spacey's voice um, uh, from that chicken. But having the facial expressions of Kevin Spacey determines who's actually playing or just justifies who is actually playing the role um, of that chicken. It's a bit of a, um, a weird sort of example of what I'm trying to explain to you guys. But I'm just trying to explain to you guys if you're into this sort of stuff and you actually do this sort of stuff, motion capture is the way to go. Um, especially when it, you know, when it justifies itself around uh, facial recognition. So now, um, moving on, you know, you get the software and you've actually got options um, when you load the software. So you could, um, if I just load up um, a, a model very, very quickly uh, in Maya, um, Faceware gives you an option to do real life um, 
or, or real life motion capture so you can literally um, record your face or, 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 or play your face back and attach it to the model at the same time so here I've just got um, a little boy I'm not going to show you literally um, everything now um, because that will come in the actual tutorial itself um, of how it, uh, how basically faceware works um, and, and and what benefits you can actually get out of it. So um, when you when you download the software itself, um, you're presented. So basically, you install it. Whether you install it for Max, whether you install it for Maya, um, you're given the option up here for faceware. And then once you look uh, you load that, and um, basically you're able to start using. Um, and like I say, guys, this is just a review. Um, this is not a tutorial or nothing. I'm just trying to explain to you guys what uh, faceware is. But I will do a full tutorial on the next video and show you guys exactly how faceware works and what you can benefit and how you can what what basically you can get out of it. So um, I'm just going to kick a light here, um, and this is faceware um, uh, regener uh, regenerator. And then this is a trial version. I will be getting pro without a shadow of a doubt. And basically, you know, you would create, you would analyze your face first using this piece of software here. Okay, I'm just trying to explain this to you as quick as I can. Um, well, not as quick as I can, but um, in detail as I can, so you can basically know exactly, uh, uh, get, get a rough idea before the tutorials of what this program actually is all about. So you would analyze your face uh, within this um, program first, Analyzer. And Analyzer is basically like a motion capture tracking tool. Okay, It will track and help you track the performance um, of your face. Um, and you can actually use your own videos for this. So you would record um, an extract um, or performance uh, from your video, throw it into Analyzer, and then work on Analyzer, or work within Analyzer to create that perfect tracked face. And then from there, you would actually start creating within Regenerator here. Um, but like I say, that is for another uh, for the next video another tutorial so I could literally you know think about you know working on this character here um, that I've been working on and you know create facial expressions and take months or weeks or you know God knows how long into animating this guy's face um, to mimic a voice and, and to basically get performance out of that character but it's never going to look as real um, as a proper pro proper uh, performance from um, motion capture it ne it's never going to look as real so that's why um, this piece of software is so important and uh, and a big part of um, uh, movie makers uh, pipeline especially within animated films um, so that's why I recommend guys that you literally do do give this give this go um, as you can see there's the website down the bottom there um, where you can go to download your free trial and then once you, um, your, your trial expires, um, go over there and, and, and just purchase it. It's not very dear for what it is. Um, I think it's about, um, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at pricing. Um, bear with me guys, uh, Faceware. Uh, so, you know, you can you talk to the great team um, at Faceware, um, you know, explain to them what you, what you want and, and, and they will sort you out. So software licensing um, you know this is analyzer and this is basically the sort of thing you'll get you know within Maya uh, regenerator here um, and you're looking you know 795 for uh, the analyzer and 395 dollars for um, regenerator as well um, so not very dear for what it is it is a pro piece of kit so you're not paying a lot for it that is not a lot especially when it's going to save you a hell of a lot of time um, within your pipeline um, within your work structure as well creating the best pos possible content um, you can for your movies so as always guys I'll, I'll just quickly look at some of the headgear that you can actually uh, purchase as well so I do you know email them a quote if you're interested in some uh, virtual reality or motion capture headgear they've got a wide selection of um, uh, products that you can um, purchase from them at very very reasonable prices and it just take your movie making to the next level and to a professional level um, as well so um, like I say you know worth every single penny um, I will be getting pro and when we do the um, 
tutorials, which will be the next batch of videos. Um, we'll be using a pro version of, of, of that as well. Um, and I can literally take you through it, guys, step by step, just to show you exactly what you can get from this and what the potential is. Uh, because the potential is whatever you want to create, whatever you can create as an actor, or what you can literally get from your um, actor, uh, actors performance wise to place within to your animated characters so as always guys thanks for listening hit that like button hit that subscribe button um and i'll see you guys in the next video which will going to be the the tutorial of facewear thanks for listening guys take care bye